Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today is the start of a reading vlog. Now, I had planned on trying to do weekly reading vlogs when I started making some of them at the beginning of, I think, August. That ended up not working out due to school. College is tough. <laughs> I thought that I would do a reading vlog during the week of Thanksgiving break. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow, no, today's Monday, November 19th, and tomorrow after my classes, I get to travel back to Houston, Texas with my family, not with my family, to see my family, and uh, I'm going to be home until Sunday. So I'm gonna be home for around six days and it's very, very exciting. And I hope to get a lot of reading done because I'm not gonna worry about school at all during that week. So I'm going to be sharing the three books that I'm currently reading. And these are gonna be the only books that I'm going to be bringing back home with me because I don't see myself reading more than these three books. But if I end up reading more than these three books, I have a bunch of books back home that I didn't take to college. That are sitting there so I have plenty of options. The first book that I'm currently reading is Now I Rise by Kirsten White. I think I'm only on like page like 20 yeah 28 and I started reading this book maybe a week and a half ago or two weeks ago and I have to read it by Friday for my buddy read with Hannah from Being the Bookologist and Vendy from Cop Between Pages. He was to be finished by Friday. Fingers crossed that that actually happened. <laughs> Um, I really want it to. It's like almost 500 pages. I really hope that I can just fly through it because I love these characters a lot. I love this story a lot and I just want to know what happens. So hopefully I can get through this one soon. I want this one to be my first read. Get this one out of the way. Next we have Blood Moon by S. Yurvati. I am reading this because the publisher sent me a copy to review and I'm only on page 123 out of around 300 something. And I'm slowly making my way through this. I can't really give a summary for you just because the one critique that I have about this book so far is that the summary or like the back of the book I don't think is very good or it doesn't explain like anything really. It's very uh, scattered. We just have many, many characters in this book when I thought that it was going to be mainly focused on one character, mainly. And then we would have a bunch of little side characters that we'd also get the perspective of, but it's actually like many, many different characters which kind of hurts my brain a little bit so we'll see what happens with this this is my second read after i finish now i rise i plan on trying to finish this one i've also been taking some notes just because i like to take notes during books that i read for reviews just because i don't want to forget my thoughts get what i'm saying i also don't know what genre this is no idea what genre this is i think i should I don't know the genre. It's not like explicitly stated or it's not, you can really infer what the genre is at all at this point. <laughs> I don't know if it's like urban fantasy cause like it's not really urban fantasy, but then you got contemporary also. And I don't even know if you would categorize it as romance cause there was also a little part on the back that talked about a couple getting together. I don't know, I'm kind of confused. We'll see what happens. This also is the first part of the book. Like they split Blood Moon into two separate books. This is part one. And they're gonna be sending me part two. I don't have that yet, so we'll see. And then the third book I am currently reading is Saga Volume One by Brian, I think it's Vaughan, Vaughan, I'm sorry, and Fiona Staples. Um, I am on page, oh, I forgot these don't have page numbers. I haven't read a lot of graphic novels in my time, but um, I saw this in Barnes and Noble on my last trip home and uh, it was 10 bucks, I needed to get it. I've heard so many great things about it. <laughs> I'm only on page like maybe 10. The art is beautiful. The storyline is great so far. I'm very much hooked. I just have these two hunky doozy books that I really want to read before I devote some love to this. So again, I hope I can read those two books so I can get to this one. So we'll see. I'll see y'all later when I actually have a reading update. Hey y'all, it's the next day later in the afternoon. It's around one o'clock and I am in the car getting ready to head home back to Houston with Cress back there. We're road tripping together. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be gone for about a week, so I'm taking her with me. This will be fun. Earlier today before class started, I ended up reading about 20 pages or so of Now I Rise before class started. I haven't really gotten anything else done. I'm actually going to be currently listening to on my two hour and 30 minute car ride to Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. 
Um, I remember really, really loving this book when I was in middle school and I already had the audiobook on my Audible app because I got it a long, long time ago. So I decided to just re-download it and re-listen to it because um, I don't want to spend more money on audiobooks and I'm out of credits until later next week. So I'm gonna have to deal with the audiobooks that I have. So that's re-listening to them. So I don't know what I'm gonna think about it. We'll see. I remember really loving it, but that was like back middle school, 12 year old Avery. So we'll see what happens. Hey y'all, what's up? It's the next day. Sorry I didn't film really all that much yesterday, but I was hanging with my family and my pets that I missed a lot. Say hi, Oreo. Or bye, Oreo. Okay. So yesterday I listened to a lot of Shiver. I listened to maybe three and a half hours. I've been slowly reading Now I Rise. I basically need to finish tomorrow. it tomorrow. I'm only on page 59. So it's really good. It's just I've been having so much stuff to do. I've been working since 8 o'clock this morning. And it is around 5.30 in the evening. <sighs> And I'm supposed to be hanging out with friends later. Uh, I have to read a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Reading this while snuggling with my cat. But he's he's wanting to sit at the end of the bed instead of with me. Oreo. Oreo, say hi. Can I say hi? I missed him so much. Yes, I missed you. Okay, it's time to go read. You wanna come read with me? Let's go read. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Today is Thanksgiving if you are in America, and I'm spending my Thanksgiving so far reading my book, chilling with my best friend Oreo, my cat. Nothing new going on here. I'm currently on page 126. I hope to get a lot of this done today. Actually, Hannah, Vindy, and I, we have decided to extend our reading date to Monday instead of Friday. Thank goodness we agreed to that because I would have had to read like 300 pages today. It's Thanksgiving and I don't have time for that right now. So I'm really enjoying this so far and I just I love Lana and Radu so much. Radu just always like gets at my heart like boy. And also later today my dad said he would get down the Christmas tree for me so I can decorate it. I'm the only one in my family who wants to decorate the Christmas tree. Like if I went around, they wouldn't have the Christmas tree put up because everyone's just so busy and they don't think it's that big of a deal. But decorating the Christmas tree is my favorite thing to do during the holidays and I won't be home for a couple weeks. So I was like, can I just decorate the Christmas tree this year because that's what I want to do. And we have like over 300 ornaments and like that's the best thing ever is decorating the Christmas tree. So I can't wait to do that. But I have to work today. Yes, on Thanksgiving. I have helping my mom with a photo shoot and the location is like over an hour's drive away like our family is celebrating christmas not christmas thanksgiving tomorrow since we have to work today maybe i can get some reading done in the car but i don't know because i get car sick really easily it just depends on how i'm feeling that day so we'll see what happens. Hey y'all, it's saturday i did not vlog at all yesterday just because i was super busy i had to work and we celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday because I had to work with my mom on Thursday, but later in the evening. So we got to celebrate yesterday. I finally put the Christmas tree up partially. We own like over 300 ornaments. We're ornament collectors. So we have ornaments just all over the house that still need to be put on this Christmas tree. So we started doing that yesterday because that is my favorite thing to do during the holidays. And I had to be home while they decorated the Christmas tree because I love it. But mostly what I did yesterday is paint something for my best friend. 
it is her birthday in a couple of days and I decided to paint her a scene from A Court of Mist and Fury because that's one of our favorite books of all time. And so I have this painting that I did for her. It's been painted over the course of a couple weeks. So it's taken me a little while. I'll show y'all some close up footage right about now. anything like this before so I'm really 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 excited to give it to her I'm going to give it to her later tonight we're going to go see crimes of Grindelwald with a few other of our friends and I'm gonna give it to her afterwards and um, I'm just about to wrap it that's why I wanted to share it with y'all so y'all could see what it looked like hopefully I can get her reaction on video but <laughs> I'm just really excited for her to see it hopefully she loves it. I ended up painting this in the course of a couple days just because it takes a lot of layers to do the mountains. Before I came home this week for Thanksgiving break, I had already done the night sky. I had already done the balcony, the cobblestones, and Feyre and Reese. And um, all there was left to do was the mountains and the uh, river. And I solely brought that over back home with those two only not done because my mom is a painter and I really needed her advice because I don't know how to paint multicolored mountains <laughs> and um, I wanted to make the river like look real so I needed her help with that so yeah that took me a couple of days because you have to add more layers and it takes a while for the paint to dry acrylic paint to dry so we have paint scattered all around my laundry room and um, kitchen along with ornaments but yeah I have to work again today two photo shoots I don't know if I've told y'all but I'm a assistant for my mom who's a photographer so whenever I come home I help her with that and then later tonight I'm gonna go see Crimes of Grindelwald I don't know how that's gonna be I've heard very 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 mixed reviews especially on book Twitter I don't I don't know how I'm gonna feel I rewatched Fantastic Beasts the other night with my mom and I loved it. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with the second movie. One of my friends that I'm watching it with, this is like her fourth time watching it because she loves it so much. Then people on book Twitter are like bashing it. <laughs> Where's dad? In his room. What's up? It's uh, a couple of days later. Um, if I sound different, it is because I do sound different. Um, I've had, I got a little sick or something. My throat isn't feeling all that great and that's mainly why I have not been vlogging the rest of the time that I should have been vlogging. <laughs> I'm already back at the apartment. Cress is with me. She's doing just great. She bit me today, so on her hamster goals. I just wanted to close this vlog out and tell y'all how my week went and what I read and such. I also wanna tell y'all my thoughts on Crimes of Grindelwald. So I saw it the night that you saw me giving the present to my best friend. She saw with me with two of my other friends. I was quite shocked at the end, as was um, every person who watched the movie, but I don't see the big deal about people hating on this movie like it's all over book twitter about how like people are like so upset with what happened when like we don't know 
what happened. I'm trying not to spoil stuff, but like my friend who saw it with me the fourth time, she loves this movie, she was seeing it the fourth time when I saw it my first time. And I asked her, I said, hey, there's a bunch of controversy about this movie on like Twitter and stuff. Like, what's your opinion on it? And she goes, yeah, I don't really understand what's going on. And I don't know if I like support it, but like, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to JK Rowling because she's the one who came up with all of this. And <coughs> I want to see the rest of the movies to fully have an opinion on it because we don't know what's going on. And we won't know until the next movies comes out. So I agree with her. I don't really have an opinion on the big plot twist because I don't know what's going to happen. I read about half, half of... And now I rise Saturday night. <coughs> I got around halfway before I left for school again. And then I came home. Vendi, Hannah, and I extended our reading date to Monday as the deadline. Because we all didn't realize how busy break was going to be. So I was like, okay, I have to read it tonight. It's also, I was like at a really good part in this book. And I needed to know what happened. And I wanted to finish it really badly. So I read it until 11.30 at night that night. Because I was also simultaneously doing physics homework online that I didn't know was due. So that's why I also may have stayed up really late. So I ended up finishing this Sunday night <coughs> five out of five stars loved it there's one character in here that like I'm not a fan of not a fan of he uses everybody and I'm sick of it but I loved it and Hannah and Vendi and I are still talking about it and I love talking about it with them it's so fun and again if y'all don't know who hannah and vindy are they're from the channels being the bookologist and copperton pages and i will leave their channels linked down below we have already planned our read for bright i think it's called bright we burn yes it's called bright we burn i have it on my shelf back there <coughs> but we've agreed to read bright we burn by Christmas, by the 25th of December, because we're all in college and we all have finals to do. <coughs> I didn't realize how much talking makes me cough because I don't talk to anybody when I'm here. <laughs> I literally talk to nobody. <coughs> and so I haven't been coughing all day. I didn't know that I had a cough because I don't talk <laughs> during the day because I'm talking right now. What is wrong with me? <coughs> Also, I want to let y'all know what I'm currently reading. I am 60-something percent of the way through Blood Moon Part 1 by S. Irvati. So, I, like, said, I think, at the beginning of this vlog that, like, I couldn't give y'all a summary of this because I don't know what it's about. And, like, you kind of get what it's about when you further go in. I'm getting a little bit more intrigued as the story goes on, and I did not know it was going to be like this. The summary did not hint this. There are aspects in this book that I was not expecting at all. It's not bad, but I, it was just so surprising. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's not like bad or anything. It's just not something that I normally read. Like, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Cause I'm gonna finish it and maybe give y'all my thoughts later on. Um, but this book, I was sent this book for an honest review and they're gonna send me part two. <coughs> and I'm like, 60 something the way through and I want to know what's going on because there's just some weird stuff going on in this book. Okay, one main thing that I really want to say about this book, and it's going to be in my review for this, because whenever I review books for like an honest review that the publisher sent me, I write notes and like I have my, I keep a sheet of notebook paper in the book and just um, pull it out while I'm reading it and take notes while reading it. And oh my gosh. Okay, one of my biggest pet peeves while reading is when the author chooses to call men and women, not men and women, but females and males. Not once in this book is someone called a man or a woman. It's either female or or male when it's like set and like on earth. It's like not like a fey world where they don't have men and women. These are literally people from the US where there are men and women, but they she chooses to call them female and male. It's just very weird. It's a big pet peeve of mine. I'm enjoying myself while reading this. That is just one point that I have and I will get more into it in my Goodreads review. If y'all wanna know how I feel about this book, be sure to look out for that on my Goodreads. I have it linked down below with my uh, Twitter and my Instagram. Check those out, love 
posted on the social medias. But anyway, I hope to also finish Saga soon. I haven't been able to do that. Sorry. Hi, um, it's me. I forgot to tell y'all how Shiver went um, listening to it. I currently still have around four hours out of an 11 hour audiobook left. So I'm just going to be slowly but surely listening to that on my treks to class, my walks. Each walk is around 20 minutes. So I hope to get it done maybe before my next trip back home for winter break so then I can just listen to the second book because I'm really 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 enjoying Shiver right now like I didn't expect it to. I don't know if it's Twilight-esque. It does not have the juvenile writing style that Twilight has. I think it gives you the same feeling when it comes to like supernatural creatures and falling for someone that you shouldn't because they're either a werewolf or something because this guy is a werewolf. I forgot to even tell you what Shiver was about. But it's basically like, long story short, this girl, when she was really younger, she was attacked by wolves in the forest, but she somehow survived. And since then on, she's always been obsessed with these wolves, specifically one wolf with yellow eyes. And turns out that the wolf appears on her doorstep one day in the form of a boy. And it is their story. And it's a, I believe, a trilogy. It's been middle school since I read these and I still own them. But I'm a really really enjoying it. More than I thought, Maggie Steve Otter's writing style is just so great. I've read The Raven Cycle. If you like The Raven Cycle, you might also like the Shiver books. They're more, um, I don't want to say like kitty. I don't know what to say, but it's so weird. I don't know how to categorize this book as because I read it in middle school and like didn't understand most of it and loved it even though I thought it was geared towards people in middle school, when I started reading it, it's actually about a 17 and an 18 year old. It's about older people and they're dealing with big people stuff. Like there's PTSD. There's like so much that I forgot about. Probably just because I was just a middle schooler who just forgot what the book was about. But I'm really, really, really enjoying it and I really recommend it if you're into werewolves or just Maggie Steve Otter's writing style because it's so great. Anyway, continue with the video. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some cough drops and um, some water. Yeah, go to sleep because this is not fun. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Sorry if this vlog was kind of scatterbrained. What's new? <coughs> <coughs> thank y'all so much for watching and I hope to see y'all soon with a new vlog don't know when that's gonna happen <laughs> probably not till after finals are done so maybe a month <laughs> anyways thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all soon with a new video bye